It's showtime. Tommy Bartlett's showtime. There is nothing that symbolizes a summer spent on the lake like a pair of water skis. But when you see what the team at the Tommy Bartlett Ski Show in Wisconsin Dells can do with them, you'll never look at a pair the same way again. Take us back. You guys have, have been around for a while. In fact, the oldest show? Oldest live show in the country. Yes, we've been running since our 63rd summer in Wisconsin Dells, and it's been a wonderful run, and it's a wonderful tribute to Tommy Bartlett, who started it all. Wisconsin-born Tommy Bartlett began his radio career when he was just 13. He eventually transitioned to TV, starring in his own network show for nine years. Tommy Bartlett was never a water skier himself. Instead, it was during an announcer gig for a ski show that he realized what this water recreation can really do. And he saw the tremendous uh, uh, value of production in it, and so Tommy went up to Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, to Carl Key Kafer, and he said, Carl, I'll produce shows and we'll take them all over North America. That way people will buy boats and motors. So that's how it all got started. We had peach crates and that people were sitting on and wooden benches, but now it, you know the stadium holds 4,500 people, so it's, it's quite a facility. 63 years later, and they're entertaining an average of 2,000 fans during their two daily shows, a quarter of a million people each season. <laughs> about putting a show like this together? Uh, it starts very early in the off season. We start recruiting and hiring our skiers around the first of the year. You know, it takes about 28 of them to put this on. Jeremy Armstrong works as the water ski director, putting together the teams and routines. Armstrong says finding top talent isn't much trouble. Skiers come to them because of the rock solid reputation of the Tommy Bartlett show. <laughs> But this an easy summer job? Not even close. Water skiers spend long days in the sun, perfecting every last second. This show is very unique. Uh, it's very fast paced. It's nearly 20 acts in 45 minutes. There's always something in your face. There's always something on the water in front of you. There's never a moment from start to finish of this production that is going to leave anybody less than entertained. The entertainment doesn't stop on the water, as I quickly discovered when I met a certain father and son. I'll hold on to it, he'll put another foot up, he'll climb up, he'll get settled in here, and then he'll just kind of cruise right around this. Don't get too scared, <laughs> okay, no, no. you're okay. I'm hitting yep. the floor. No, no, wow, no, look no. At him go. Look at this. TJ and Carson Howell have been performing together since Carson was a toddler. He's been doing this since he was about two and a half years old. Whenever you can have uh, an entertainment type of job where you can have your family with you, it's so special. Like here in between shows, we'll go skiing on a hot day like this. There's a good chance we're going to be jumping in this lake. So it's just so cool to have your family with you at your job. So the second half of the show is about the same length as the first half. In its six decades in production, there is one person that hasn't missed a show. Are you hot in there, Aqua? It's really warm. Meet Aqua the Clown, part mascot, part unpredictable performer. Now, are you nervous going into a show, Aqua, or how are you feeling at this point? I'm a stunt man, I'm never nervous. His stunts are always a fan favorite, for good reason. It's impossible not to talk about the success of this Wisconsin Dells tradition without looking back on its most difficult summer, not that long ago. In 2008, we had uh, torrential rains around 18 inches of water. This is a man-made lake, has a dam down at the other end, and we started sandbagging around the dam at about one o'clock in the morning because we were afraid it was gonna breach the dam. Well, unbeknownst to us, uh, it breached it at a totally different place, and uh, the lake with uh, 700 million gallons of water emptied in about an hour and a half. The draining of Lake Delton kept the Tommy Bartlett show on land that summer. Attendance suffered, but by the next season, they were back. Why is it so important to keep this show fresh? I mean, you're constantly adding adding new things. Well, uh, Tommy always told me that uh, y you want to give people more value than what they paid for, and you have to give them things that they couldn't see on TV or elsewhere. And so that's what we constantly try to do is to find new innovative acts and certainly taking the, the ski show every year to a new level. That innovative act these days is this thing, the flyboard. 
shooting a performer 40 feet into the air while turning flips you never thought possible. You know, everybody else goes on vacation, we live vacation. <laughs> Entertainers and athletes focused on fun. Seeing the audience's reaction, being able to make them have fun is a feeling you can't describe to me. And I see right on your shirt, living the living dream. Living the dream. Nothing is better than living this dream. Life to the Max is brought to you by Life Touch, photography for a lifetime.